Step number one to living in your parents' basement or eventually living in your parents' basement is to speak and not do. So basically you need to speak to other people, tell them all the things that you want to tell them so that they, maybe they like congratulate you or something, but then you don't actually follow through with those words. So for example, I'm telling my friends that I'm going to start a drop shipping, drop shipping store and I never do. I'm telling my parents that I'm going to become an extremely wealthy individual and yet I'm not taking any action to become that person. Basically, you need to say words, but don't actually mean them. They're just words. Do not speak those words into existence. Just focus on the things that you can say and focus immensely on the amount that you can impress other people. And don't actually take any action towards actually showing and not telling. Only tell, okay? You need to only be telling other people about either your current successes that are very minuscule or your future successes. You need to tell them all the steps that you're going to take, the grind that you're on or the grind that you're about to be on even better. And you need to just not do these things. What do we just tell and never ever implement? Never ever show, never ever speak words into existence because through that you're actually going to maybe even become successful and not live in your parents' basement. So basically, in this video, that was number one, by the way, in this video, I'm going to be telling you exactly how to end up in your parents' basement. So basically, this can go for anybody's goal. So if you want to stay in college for a while, even graduate college, and then don't find any job, then perfect, this video is for you. If you want to live in your parents' basement right now, and you're like 35 years old, I don't care, this video is for you, okay? This is exactly the step-by-step -step blueprint, three simple steps on how to live in your parents' basements or end up living in your parents' basements. In this video, I'm going to supply you with the exact knowledge that you need. And if you do not wanna live in your parents' basement, wink, wink, then basically just do the exact opposite as what I'm doing right now. And even if you're doing one of these things, you have a much higher chance of living in your parents' basements. So you're really going to enjoy this video. This is exactly, exactly, how you be, how you live in your parents' basement, how you become an incredibly unfulfilled individual, how you become incredibly demasculinized, how you become a loser, whatever you want to call it, this is exactly how to do it. Number two, blindly listen to your favorite influencer. Blindly listen to their, your favorite influencer, take all their advice and take it all literally. Seriously, do not think about anything that you're going through personally. Don't think about your personal strengths, your personal weaknesses. Just follow this guy like a cult follower and just follow whatever he says by everything he tells you to buy and literally just follow him with every action you can take. Because through this, when he says something dumb inevitably, like all education is horrible for you, they're just trying to extract your money, then maybe you're not going to have a fallback plan. Maybe you're just going to not have a fallback plan and end up just not going to college, not going to high school or not educating yourself as a whole. And then you do not have a fallback plan and boom, you lost. For also these guys who say that you need to, you can't have a fallback plan. You can't have a fallback plan because not having a fallback plan will set a fire under your ass and you're going to have to push harder, you're going to have to work harder because your life is always on the line. Now, this is a perfect example of people wanting you to live in your parents' basement. This is a beautiful example because if you do not have a fallback plan, number three, then you are absolutely going to, if you fail, if you inevitably fail that business, if you inevitably fail college, if you flunk out, then there will be no other choice but to live in your parents' basement. You can probably see the absolute genius here. So basically, if you are, for example, thinking about starting a huge business, you're going to be incredibly successful, and you might be in this exact position right now, congrats, you're on the right roadmap. You tell your parents that you're going to become incredibly successful, and finally, finally, somehow, because of your dumbass, you, they you actually convince them to not get you to go to college, for you to actually put in the grind for a long time. And then that business doesn't work out. And then you do not become successful and you have no follow back plan. You haven't applied to any colleges 
and no colleges want you now because you have a 2.0 GPA. And basically you're extremely broke so you can't pay college tuition because your parents don't want to spend it on your broke ass because they see no future in you. That's a brilliant example. That's a perfect example of how to end up living in your parents' basement. Basically, you keep telling everyone that you're going to do it, and then you go to your room, act like you're working, but you're actually jerking off all day, and you actually inevitably end up not making anything, and you live in your parents' basement. So in this video, I explained to you three really good things to end up living in your parents' basements. And quite frankly, I created this video because I realized that so many guys are doing all three of these things and they actually think these are literally guys who think that they're so special, who think that they're snowflakes, but they're doing the exact things that I mentioned in this video. They're the guys who say that they're always on the grind and that yet they never put in the grind. They're the guys who are huge Andrew Tate fans, listen to everything that he says and eventually just fail. There are guys who do not have a fallback plan, do not go to college, are convinced that dropshipping is incredibly easy, and then they fail a single store, or maybe even five, and then they just give up and end up living in their parents' basement. So, if you like this video, my channel name is him, not because I'm him, but because we're all striving to be him, right? And hopefully I can help you on that journey just as I did today. <laughs> kind of. So, if you like that message, then do subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.